So now we will see how we can change the HTML content using JavaScript. So guys, basically we can use one of the many JavaScript HTML methods, which is get element by ID over here. And then inside the parentheses in this case, we need to provide the ID of the HTML element in order to get the HTML element. And then guys, we can update the content of this HTML element as per our requirements. So guys, let us see how we can change the HTML content using JavaScript over here inside VS code. So let me just remove the previous lines of code that we had written in the HTML and the JavaScript files over here. And then guys simply we are going to have the div tag inside which we will have the statement that is hello world in this case. Now guys for this div tag we need to provide the ID attribute as well. So let's say we provide the ID and let's say the value that we provide is demo over here. So guys basically we have provided the ID attribute and the value is demo. So let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser. So as you can see this is the statement that is hello world that is getting printed with the help of the div tag over here. Now guys we need to change the content of this div tag. So what we will do is we will will link the script tag over here at the end of the body tag in this case just before the end tag of the body over here and then we can provide the source attribute that is test.js in this case so guys basically we have linked the external javascript file over here so guys inside the external javascript file we need to identify this div tag so that we are able to get the value that is hello world from this div tag so how do we identify it so guys basically there are multiple dom selectors over here that will help us in order to identify the html elements and what is DOM so basically DOM full form is document object model which is nothing but the structure of the web page wherein we have the multiple HTML elements inside the body tag so guys if I show you over here when we press F12 or when we inspect this web page in this case you can see all the elements over here this is nothing but the DOM of this particular web page we have the head section over here and then inside the head section we have multiple tags and then after that we have the body tag as well inside which currently we only have one tag over here but with time when your project is going to become more complex you are going to have multiple tags over here inside the body tag so guys basically this is nothing but the DOM that is document object model and using this document keyword we can access the different HTML elements inside the body tag over here so guys simply we can provide the document keyword as you can see this is the suggestion that is provided by the VS code over here after which we provide dot and then followed by get element by id so guys as you can see there are multiple methods in order to get the element the first one is get element by id over here which we are going to use apart from this you can also get the elements by class name over here then we have get elements by name then get elements by tag name and so on you can make use of any of these methods in order to get the html element so for now we are going to make use of this get element by id since we have have already provided the ID value over here which is demo in this case we will see the different examples of the DOM selectors in the upcoming videos as well and based on your choice you can make use of the required selector as per the project requirements so guys over here we make use of the get element by ID and then we provide the open and close parenthesis inside which we need to provide the value of this ID over here so guys simply I'm going to copy the value of the ID and paste it inside the parenthesis now guys inside the parenthesis either you can have the double quotes or the single quotes over here in order to provide the value of the id so guys as you can see we have provided the value of the id inside the get element by id method over here so guys this is a very simple statement in order to get the value of the html element that is div tag in this case now guys if we want to verify whether we have got the correct value by using this get element by id method simply we can provide the console.log statement so over here we can provide console followed by dot and then we have the log statement over here and then inside the open and close parenthesis we can provide this entire statement that we had provided in this case that is document dot get element by id over here so guys previously we had seen that console dot log statement will help us in order to print the data on the console so when we open console over here we will be able to see the data on the console when this particular statement is getting executed over here so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on 
from the browser so as you can see we have got the html element that is dev tag along with the id that is demo over here and it is also providing the value that is hello world in this case because whatever value we provide over here inside the html the same value will be provided by the method that we have provided inside our javascript code so guys let us say we only want hello world statement without the exclamation mark so when we save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser as you can see the same div tag is now getting printed over here along with the hello world statement without the exclamation marks that we have already removed so guys this is the way that you can identify the html elements by using the document.get element by id and then confirm it by using the console.log statement now guys after getting this html element which is containing this particular html element over here simply we can make use of the inner html property that is provided by the javascript code so guys over here we provide the dot character followed by the inner html as you can see this is the property that we must use and it will help us in order to overwrite the current value that is provided inside the dev tag over here so guys let us say we want to set it as programming for beginners that is the name of this youtube channel which you should definitely subscribe if you have not done so so guys basically we have provided programming for beginners statement over here with the help of the inner html property by first of all recognizing the html element with the help of the get element by id over here so this particular statement will help us in order to change the content that is hello world will be replaced by this programming for beginners or any other string that you provide by using this particular property guys remember that you need to make use of this assignment operator and then followed by the value of the string inside the double or the single quotes over here apart from this there is a semicolon that you can provide at the end of the line which helps us to recognize that this is the end of the line inside our javascript code now guys semicolon is optional so you won't get any error if you forget to provide this particular a semicolon in this case so let me just save this file now and simply when we reload this page the hello world string must be replaced by the programming for beginners so let me reload this page as you can see programming for beginners is now getting printed over here because we have provided this javascript code along with the inner html property that helps us in order to change the content of the web page so guys this is the reason that javascript is known in order to provide the interactivity with the web pages inside the website so guys basically html is used in order to create the html elements as we have seen over here css is used in order to design the html elements and then javascript is used in order to provide the interaction that is interactivity with the website now guys what we have done so far is we have provided this particular line inside our javascript code which will be executed when we simply reload this page but in reality what should happen is this is the original page that is having hello world over here and we must have certain button over here on the web page and when the user clicks on that particular button the javascript code must be called in order to change this content on the web page so guys we are going to check that as well in the upcoming videos as well how you can do that by clicking a particular button and then changing the content of the html element so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to learn about different dom selectors to find the html elements in javascript so stay tuned